Welcome to Life is Strange. Welcome back. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know who's here. I don't know what I'm doing. Life is Strange 2. Uh, we finished up chapter 1 in the uh, previous stream. Life Friday stream. God, I'm so out of it today. Bear with me. So they're on the run. Uh, they are currently wanted uh, because of what happened at the beginning of the first game. Oh, crap. Okay, actually, oh god. So, this is really confusing, but um, I knew I, I had to play that other game first. Yeah. It, and I'm so glad that I, I played this before, but I, I would have probably been prompted to do this before. This game is very bizarre in that they have episodes, episodes 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, usual Life is Strange thing. But for some reason, they threw in this, like, extra DLC game called Captain Spirit in between Life is Strange, or episodes 1 and 2. And full disclosure, I have played episodes 1 and 2 before I started getting into streaming, and then um, I completely stopped playing it. And um, I decided that I wanted to replay this, like, to jog my memory and get back into this game. So... We're not going to play episode two today. I might need to update my stream title. We need to go in. We need to play Captain Spirit. So we're going to make a new game. That's going to erase my... Pre I kind of want that. And we're just going to play this and see how it goes. Yeah, I, I, I was a little confused and it's a little confusing. Hopefully we can make this work with my save file uh, that I've been doing for Twitch. I think I think we can. This game's actually pretty... um nifty when it comes to that, so. Spirit of my silence, I can hear you, but I'm afraid to be near That's what it looks you. like where I live. I don't know. Let's go, let's go. To begin. This is exactly what it looks like, like where I, I live. We have really bad winters. I'm up in North Dakota, so. Somewhere in that the house desert, needs to be there's a painted. Forest. Life is Strange has like some of the best music. I just really like it. To begin. But I don't know where to begin. That house is like completely the color of that house. You're in Idaho, you feel me in the rough winter thing. If you yeah, you you then you get my pain. Power bear. What is this planet? I don't know. We've never been here before. Maybe we're on the edge of the universe. Hey, cool. Let's see if we can find some aliens. Hey, the ground is moving. The planet's gonna eat us. We have to get back to the ship right now. Then let's get the heck out of here. Oh no, the control panel's not working. Oh no! We're stuck in the middle of nowhere. Hold on. Let me just give you a hand. No, it's just me, Captain Spirit, who can bend all matter to his will. That's a cool superpower. I did it. I still got the power. What a cutie. Now I just need to make a cool costume for Captain Spirit. Okay. But I don't have a cool cape to fly. Good thing I have one. Y yep. Mask or no mask? 
secret identity or not? Hmm. What do you, what, what do we, I don't know. You take that power, I know, I would take that power. Helmet or mask? Helmet. I was gonna ask you guys, but it's so long to wait to ask. Just gonna pick. I think a helmet's yep, pretty cool. Looks cool so far. Let's see. What about the armor? Uh, heavy armor. That's so cool. Oh, it's like a scorpion car. So That's so cool. cool. Go with your gut, we believe in you. Should he be dark or colorful? Uh, colorful? Heck yeah. I mean, I love colorful. That bear is punching a shark. That ninja's riding a dragon. Why is he so cool? Mantroid. Mantroid. Captain Spirit is ready for battle. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. I have no idea what's happening. Oh, that's the name of the game. The Awesome Adventures of Captain Spirit. Hello, Saturday morning. I can do anything I want today. Uh, hell yeah. I'm almost a Saturday morning kid. Uh, drawing manual? Oh, he likes to draw. I hope I can draw as good as mom someday. Oh, his mom's an artist. How to draw superheroes. Chris, since you're going to be my own superhero, this book is a great start. You can be everything I am not. I can't wait to spend the rest of my life watching you save the world. Love forever, super mom. Aww. Just beautiful handwriting. Mm. Wait, Henry. I could do a training session with my power. Could we? We could talk to Henry. Sorry. You're too cute to fight evil. He's pretty cute. We can't we can't let Henry can't let Henry fight. Uh secret map. The secret treasure is buried out there in the wild. Now I have to locate the second part of the map. Wait, where? There's a lot on this map. There's a urine wall. What? Lonely desert? There's a lot on this map. I don't see any treasure. Mantroy's team. Every superhero team needs a supervillain team. Okay. Oh, there's like Captain Spirit. There's like a crocodile and like a thor looking guy down there he's like a pretty good artist there's our captain spirit drawing we chose watch out super villains today i make my own superhero costume heck yeah heck yeah stanley origin story uh wait yeah apply a tattoo don't you need water wait don't you need water wait how is he doing that without water he really does have powers. If he, he just put that on without uh, there's there tattoos, the you pain. don't need water. At least I don't have to use any needles. Is that okay? I'm not even gonna argue with that on that one, kiddo. He's a superhero. Man, I wanted to go to that, but Dad had to watch the playoffs. Super comic store. Okay. He's really into comic book stuff. Weapons. God, my Captain weapons Spirit are, doesn't need I'm weapons. Itch. Just Is he gonna case. beat someone with a guitar? He's got like super soaker guns and stuff. His favorite book. I've read this one where so many times. Where the strange things went. <laughs> I miss Hal. He feels like he's so far away, even though he lives on the other side of town. Who's Hal? Chris, thanks for letting me read this. Now it's my turn to give you a book to read. Your pal, Hal. Oh. I don't know who Hal is. There's a walkie-talkie. There's Bugs Bugs Motel. There's a trophy. I miss playing ball with my friends. Before we moved. Okay, so they moved. Good to know. Hey, spider baby. I think you caught your lunch in your web. Oh, he has a spider and as a pet. And there's a snail moving so fast. He's in one place. Spider baby. <laughs> I love spider baby. DVDs. Hmm. This is a perfect day to watch Frozen. Last time Dad told me not to sing along so loud. Protect the baby boy! Oh my gosh, I love this kid. Mom bought me so many cool comic books. She told me never throw them away. Spider-Man origin story? It could maybe. 
Mom told him not to come on. Breakfast. Uh, uh, be right there. Be right there. This is Chris to the Flying Fortress. Come in, come in. Roger, I'm here. I hope so, Sky Pirate. Sky Pirate. What do you see up there? Have you spotted Snowmancer? Not yet. It's hard because of the storm. This is perfect cover for a Snowmancer sneak attack. Eyes sharp. Keep me posted. He's so cute. Yes, sir. Roger that. Thanks, Sky Pirate. Over and out. I know you're out there, Snowmancer. Snowmancer. Uh, basketball throw? Uh, air ball. I should ask Dad to show me again. Chris, I need now. One sec. Give me one second. Your time is up. He's getting angry. <laughs> This isn't greedy, right, Santa? Here, Santa Claus, Claus. Dad will love that I want basketball lessons. Here, Santa Claus, I think I've been good. Here is my list for Christmas. Hot dog adventure, play box, play box council, black, drawing paper and pens. He wants to be able to draw and basketball lessons. Sincerely, Chris. Such a cutie. Forest warrior. At least the forest warrior protects me from the snow ghost. Heck yeah, that's the Thor looking one. Viking book. What kind of a Viking would I be? He's really into Vikings, too. I mean, cool, cool. There's a lot of stuff in this room. Dad said he was going to fix that last one. It looks month. like a PlayStation. But the controller doesn't look like right. a PlayStation controller. It's a play box. Empty firecrackers? Dad took away my firecrackers when I blew up the garbage can last year. Yeah, I would, too. Hmm. I wonder where he hit them. He like he's Captain Spirit and he's like pretending he has like powers, like imagination. That's so cute. Chris, I mean now. I heard you. I heard you, jeez. Do not make me come over there. Dude, this guy needs to calm down. I want a spirit cape. Gotta have a super cape. Heck yeah. And Captain Spirit can wear it. Heck yeah. I like when we put sticky note stars around it. Can I wear it? It's not letting me. Oh, there we go. Yep. I was pushing the wrong button, apparently. Oh my goodness. It's like I have like a hair right on my face. It's driving me bonkers. I can feel the energy flow through me. Okay. I have the power. Okay, that's a good start. But now it's time I to build take the rest over the of my town costume. with this army. I didn't mean to have him talk Whoa. at the same time. Wardrobe clothes. Can we look at everything? I know, like the. <sighs> oh. Jeez, good job, chocolate hog. Oh, it's getting close to Christmas. It looks like. Our dad's getting angry. I think I looked at everything. I swear I'm gonna kick your ass if I have to come get you! God damn it. I can't wait to go back inside the Flying Fortress. I'm a little worried about that. If I don't go, I'm gonna Dad's kick gonna your be ass super if you... mad. Oh, so now, now that his dad is, like, really angry, it won't let me click on anything now. Well, his dad's a piss, a piss of shit, I was going to say. He's a piece of shit. Hey, Chris, you better come to breakfast when I holler at you, or else we're going to have a problem. But I... Don't. This isn't a hotel, buddy. I got things to do. You're a dad. Be a dad. Hey, look, it's that soda that I almost bought at the gas station in the game. That looks pretty empty. This is awkward. It 
Those eggs look a little runny. Is he- he's drinking. That's beer. And it's breakfast time, so he's an alcoholic. What'd you expect, a waffle? Ooh, I could be a total asshole and say I like moms, or I could say it's good. It's good. I'll just appease oh, the drunk. You can lie drunk. better than that. Dad, I'm not lying. It's just the eggs are good. Listen, buddy, you won't hurt my feelings if you don't love my eggs. They're shit. Your eggs are shit. doesn't compare to your mother's breakfast. You know what? I'm going to watch some cooking shows and learn how to be a super breakfast chef. And you can be my official food taster. Deal? Yeah. Okay. Dude, stop drinking. What's your plan for the day? So, Dad, what's the big plan for today? Uh, big game plan. Even though we'll probably lose again. Gotta get rid of that coach. Today I bet we win. Now that's the fucking spirit. Sorry. Don't swear, okay? I don't. Superheroes don't swear. <laughs> Superheroes Looks don't like swear. Looks like I'm off the team. Nah. Well, you're cool. That's not the case on, uh... Like a rebel. The boys. <laughs> it's so awkward, it's hard to, like, do... Hey, is your, uh... Commentary. Arm? Okay. Looks better. Anybody uh, ask you about it or uh, say anything at all? Oh, his arm is like really bruised. Well, it kind of hurts a little. Really? I, I can give you an ice pack and maybe one of my pills. No pain and no swelling. What happened to her? It makes me sad that I. That, that you got hurt. Did he do that to his kid? It's not that bad. I'm fine. Okay, okay. Won't bother you anymore. Did he hurt his kid? So, so you must be excited for Christmas. Dude, I hate this guy. Always? I'm always excited for um, Christmas. Intent. Drug the kid up. I was hoping Santa might maybe get me a new console since mine is broken. And Santa needs to get me a new job. Has to be a console. He definitely heard the kid. Basketball costs ten bucks. Okay. Oh, since it's Saturday, are we gonna get a Christmas tree? You said we could get a real pine. Yes, I did, and yes, we are. But I just want to watch the game before we go, okay? But you always fall asleep. <laughs> I won't today. And if but I he's do, he's been just drinking. Wake me up, and we'll go. Looks like a lot. Okay. You promise? I do. This is heartbreaking. And he's gonna make it up to him with drugs? I think I go take advantage of your weekend. Dad Love is an alcoholic, abusive guy. Whatever. You're free. Come grab me later. His jeans are all dirty. God. He's literally grabbing, is that, it's like whiskey. Yeah, he's an alcoholic. With a big TV. How is he putting the milk back in the fridge? I know you're not putting the milk in the- you, like, turned it all the way! Upside down- okay! What is there, like, a sip left in that carton? All right, I can okay. finally play. What would Captain Spirit do? Apparently the dishes. I think I did that wrong. Oh, I think I was man. supposed to. This is cold. I might have to check out the water eater. Water eater. <laughs> Protect this baby boy. I'm gonna like morph into this game. I'm gonna morph into this game and I'm going to save this little boy. Uh, look? Look. Come on, come on! I've never seen a beaver around here. <laughs> beaver Creek, the best damn town in America. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 
four. Grocery list? Open the fridge. All right. Cook mac and chicks, both trash to take out. Why are we making mac and cheese we already ate? Hmm. Power trash. green things are flushed into space. Hell yeah. Press uh, think, uh, the back one to see awesome things to do. So I can make Captain Spirit's costume now. Maybe I can find what I need. So we got our cape out of the closet. Captain Spirit's treasure is buried around here somewhere. I need to assemble the two parts of the map to find the way. Uh, Looks like Snowmancer wants to destroy our town. Only I can stop him this time. Hmm, I can practice my target skills on these dangerous beer cans. I, I can't let the water eater defeat me this time. I can play Mustard Party too, but I need to unlock Dad's phone. My superhero team is strong, but I better keep my eyes on Mantroid and his supervillains. I bet Mantroid is still hiding on his planet. With my full costume, I could use my spaceship and find him. Okay, so these are all the things we have to do. We're just gonna go around and explore. Um, I don't know why it wanted us to do mac and cheese. I feel like dad would get mad if we did that, so. Hmm. Maybe I could cook something for dad. Okay, so that's the that's the mac and cheese. We need to put the beer beer cans in the truck. He's literally had three beers already, so yeah. Hey Mandy! Welcome. I'm playing like a side part game to this game. The beer can monster cannot be. Mm. Seriously? Add ice cream. Heck yeah. Add ice cream. Add ice cream! And I, I don't know if I can get that. I, oh, you have to take it out? Add ice cream. Hey, hold on a minute. We'll make my, we'll make uh, mac and cheese for dad, I guess. Our abusive dad. Beginning countdown to launch. Five, four, three, two, one. Uh, why is it? Hold on a minute. Hmm. Fry. I don't know if any of that has like a difference because you can kind of just, you don't have to like do imaginary. Fry. It's the same. I guess it doesn't really matter. I have a minute on there, it's actually counting down for me, so I really want to add ice cream to the grocery list! Add ice cream. Let's see... Ice what cream. What do we need? Apparently ice cream. Heck yeah. They got phone numbers. Chris, these are the most important numbers for you on this list. Oh yeah. <laughs> cool story, Dad. So oh, it's a pizzeria. I don't know what the second one is. Reynolds something. I can't really read that one. And Dad's cell phone number. I can use the phone. Who are we calling? Yeah, we don't want to do any of that. I feel like that's a mistake. <laughs> oh, a cell phone. Oh, it's locked. Shit. We're gonna have to find uh, a pen. I need a pin code. What is it? What's your birthday, kid? I think he's an abusive ass. Wait, dear Charles, this is a letter. Hold on a minute. Dear Charles, we just wanted to let you know how much we both care about you and Chris. I know life has been hard since Emily left us, but we're still a family and we intend to keep it that way. That includes making sure Chris is getting all the care he needs at this fragile age. I think his mom died. We've always been honest with you, so please take our concern as a sign of our love the way you loved our beautiful daughter. Yes, yeah, so this is his um, his grandparents, Chris's grandparents, and this would be um, the dad's uh, parents-in-law. We also heard through a friend that you were in some kind of bar fight, but the police declined to arrest you. Thank God. Please take care of yourself. Cut to the chase. We want to help. So we, we hope you will always allow us to take care of Chris... You will allow us to take care of Chris for the next year or as long as you need and consider joining a support group. 
Yeah, he probably needs that. Sorry. Posture check. <laughs> that better? Uh, Mama and Grandpa are so cool. But no way I'm ever leaving Dad. We are not judging you in any way, only showing that we care by offering our home and love to our wonderful to your wonderful son. A letter seems impersonal but we, impersonable and personal, but we want to think we want you to think without pressure. Forgive us I am like slurring my words today. Forgive us if you feel we have overstepped our bounds. This is only about how much we love you and Chris. We're here for you both always. Peter. So grandpa wrote that. Oh wait, hold on a minute. Is that all of it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Grandma okay. and Grandpa are so cool. But no way I'm ever leaving Dad. Let's look. Hmm. Dad is too busy to care if I go online. Okay, let's go online. There's <gasps> my hot dog man. Join the revolution. Want to play with hot dog man? Take a picture of your kid covered with mustard and... Huh? Want to play with hot dog man? Take a picture of your kid covered with mustard and send it over. Lots of hot dog man exclusive toys to win every month. Just loop, just lube your kid up with mustard. Just, just douse them. I feel like that would burn your skin. Am I stupid? I oh, you table. Dad man. selling homes. Like mustard, like that would stay. Your kid would turn yellow. If I eat mustard, it gets on my fingers and stains my finger. Your kid would turn yellow. Get real about your future. Become a real litter, real real litter. Wow, I'm really doing good today, 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 today. View broker exam prep. Get started. So he's looking into becoming a real litter. Whoa, is he getting us tickets again? Best dad ever. Except that he hurt your arm. So not exactly. HeroCon 2017, Portland City Center. Over 1,000 guests, events, and dealers. Be a hero. That would be a blast being a freight hopper. Choo -choo. Is his dad out of a job? Recently, our Beaver Creek field offices have received multiple complaints about unruly teenage freight hoppers in the area. They have a minor reputation on the Northwest, so please do not let them provoke you into a confrontation. Instead, if you encounter any problem or situation involving this group, please report it immediately to your supervisor. If you have any questions, please contact me by email or during office hours. So, teenage so teenagers are jumping on freight trains, I guess? Oh, those are dad's pages. Oh, because he's looking at basketball. Yeah. All right. How is that not done yet, yo? Boring. The Great Northwest local police face more protests and shooting. Oh. That's us. Right? From Life is Strange, the original, a regular game. Small riots and protests have continued to mount one month after the unexplained deaths of a local man and a police officer. So it's been a month after what's happened at the beginning of Life is Strange 2. An official statement from the police has not been released. The sources say the man appeared to have been shot by the officer, while the latter's cause of death remains unknown. The Seattle Police Department have been accused by civil rights groups of mishandling the incident which led to the public protests and rioting. Also, I think I need to stop this before it beeps, right? Can I stop Still it? In progress. Stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. I feel like the, his dad's gonna be like mad. Oh, we already grabbed Snack the fork. Time. Okay, I was like, Did just you dump make it that on for him. Me? You wouldn't get up during the game, so I thought you could eat out here. I can nuke this mac and cheese in no time. Not bad. Not bad at all. You better start cooking from now on, buddy. No. Mom made the best mac and cheese. I mean... She did make the best mac and cheese. But this is the perfect comfort food for a winter game day. Thanks. Well, <sighs> taste it first. Best mac and cheese ever. I like... I'm sure he went, he's going through some shit because he lost his wife, but that's no excuse for hurting his kid. You know what I mean? Like, they, they do a lot of stuff where they're trying to make me like the dad. Like, oh, he got made breakfast for his kid and, like, blah, blah, blah. But, like... Dude. Oh, yeah. That's if I could go back in time, I'd go see him play. 
He looks so different in his basketball outfit. So his dad used to play basketball. That's what those stats Dominic. were on the computer then, I'm assuming. Dad never smiles like that anymore. Because your father's an alcoholic, sweetie. And that is how you shoot the ball. Dad was so popular. On fire all night. 2005. Apparently that was like 12 years ago. There's so much shit to look at. There's so much shit to look at. Hmm. Let's check the this out. Pain. I got 50 Western movies to die for. Ooh, that looks scary. I should read that. I like this kid. No, don't shoot your father. Sorry, Pop. Don't it's shoot your hard. dad. Don't shoot your dad. I wonder why dad never hangs out with Nick anymore. I don't know who Nick is. Because your father is an alcoholic. Damn. I'm going to answer I that for I everything. I on a hike with mom. This has to be mom's. She liked art. You're on fire. Very sensual art. Maybe we shouldn't be looking at that. Sweet. Okay, so that's our bedroom. We came out of that earlier. The bathroom. Mirror physics! Mirror physics! I can only see the top of his head, but it's mirror physics! Oh, we need to... What if I had real superpowers? I could protect the whole town. I mean, yep. I can't believe Dad let me put these stickers here. Maybe he likes them too. He must. Um, I, this is such a man's bathroom, because look at the toilet paper. Like, there's barely any meat on that bone. <laughs> Such a man. Comic book read. I never get tired of hot dog man. Never. He was in the first game. The handsome hot dog man. Alone and forgotten. Man. I love <gasps> this issue. The water is sprayed on him. And it looks like bread. <laughs> it's like... He gets in the car and it drives Maybe away. Could draw like this. Are they making gay love in that car? Look at that. Why is there a rainbow coming out of the car now? Ha 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 Then they- oh crap. I love how the square bottle is between their knees. That just looks wrong. What did they hit? Evil mustard. Oh no. Oh, it like squirted out. That's so wrong. I'm gonna crush you like peanuts. It's over. Wait. So you're mustard too? I like mustard. I'm going to empty you big time. Okay, yeah, no. We're getting out of that. What the hell was that? <laughs> Submarine. We're gonna look. No diving today, Nemo. Don't you want to- I mean, you probably should take a bath later, buddy boy. Razor? I wonder when I can start to shave. It- Superhero shave? Puberty. Your dad grew a nice beard, so he's also abusive. Oh no. I hate going to the water eater's lair. Oh yeah, there's no hot water. We have to go to the water eater's lair. Okay. Where's the water eater? He's so cute. Did we end up looking at everything in here? That's the only thing I'm a little like worried about. I think we actually did, which is pretty good. No, no. The basketball. No. Oh, dad's starting to lose, so you know, maybe he'll end up breaking my arm again. I feel like we shouldn't be going into dad's room if he's abusive. I feel like we're gonna like get murdered. So there's something that used to be over, look at that. So there's something used to be over the bed, like a picture or something. Per oh, perfume, oh no. I'm glad dad kept mom's perfume. It smells just like her. What happened to her? I hope I get to go practice with dad again this summer. With baseball, he's just in a sports. Turn on. Light on. Okay. Fix. Oh, he, oh, there's a key. That's like an inconvenient. Like, why would you put a key in the lampshade? That's like yes. Stands out like a sore thumb. That's not even a good place to hide it. There's beer cans everywhere. Look at that. There's beer cans. Oh my gosh. There's one there. There's a crumpled up one there. I think there might even be one under the, or like a Kleenex or something. There's shoes. Ugh. There's a drawing. I know this drawing sucks, but it's cool that dad put it here. It doesn't suck, honey. It's beautiful. Oh my god. I just want to protect this baby boy. Height. Height. 
I'm too old to be measured now. Right? Is he, he, well, hold on. Is he 11 then? Because of this 2017, right? No, he would be 10. I can't math, you guys. Don't ask me to math. I know it's simple. That's another beer can. And another beer. He's such a drunk. Play music? Now I must explore. I feel like. Without being discovered. His dad is going to get mad if we play music. Oh, it's gonna be like one of those moments where we like lay down and think about what we've done. That's where the key goes. Yeah. The wallpaper is tearing because I like poor. Heavy. His mom is dead and his dad's an alcoholic, abusive piece of shit, and he's just like trying to be a little boy. I feel like this is gonna go on forever. <laughs> laying here and it's just showing the house like we can go explore that I love listening to mom's old records Aww. we're gonna stop it because I'm a little worried his dad's gonna get mad and I don't want him to like have a hurt arm again you feel me oh cigarettes his dad smokes if I smoke in the fortress I'm breaking the superhero code that's right don't smoke a box? Shoot, that's way too hard for me to reach. Get something to stand on. Wait, am I? Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. They're naked? Yeah, no. Whoa. Put that away. I was like, maybe don't. Oh, move that. Yeah, let's move it. Since it's the only one I can use, keep doing the posture check on me. I was so angry at the Please. I think my posture is pretty good. Dear Cap Captain Lee? Dear Captain Lee, since you have not answered my calls or emails, I'm sending this letter as more proof that I have been more diligent about this case than you or the police department. It's your duty to keep the citizens and taxpayers safe. I hope to hear back sooner. You'll be hearing from me. Sincerely, Charles Erickson. That must be his dad as Charles. I remember Di yelling on the phone a lot. Mr. Charles Erickson, although I appreciate what you have gone through the past few years, I'm afraid that I have exhausted all my resources in regards to this difficult investigation. If you wish to discuss the matter without another angry message, I am always available to talk. In respect to your case, I am only invoicing you for one month's worth. Sincerely, Mick Collings, The Private Eyes. Jeez. Dad wrote a lot of letters. Dear Mr. Erickson, we, we regret to inform you that street surveillance data is not available for Asteroid Drive and Mantle Street, nor to the general public unless accompanied by an official state or federal investigation, so we cannot help you with your inquiry. We hope your local Oregon law enforcement will assist you further. Best, Barbie Bracamonte State Highway Monitor. So something happened. I'm assuming this happened was dealing with his mom. Something happened, like 
on this like street corner. Like maybe she got like taken or maybe she got murdered. They know she's dead. Like I don't know what this is like about. Oh. Okay. Uh I think we open the careful of booby traps. Yeah, your dad booby trapped the dresser. Oh, uh, there's oh, look at Oh my god. Got him the Dad play box. actually got me the new play box. No way. Get out of here. I feel like we should get out of here. Dad used to always talk about this basketball. Okay, letter. Mm. Dad never told me he had a new friend. God. Charles, I'm sorry about what I said the other night. I was just pissed you don't seem to listen to me when I express myself. My job can be very stressful, and I know it stresses you out, so that's why I want to be more involved in your world. I hate to see you get so sad when you make me so happy. I'm still waiting to meet your son, and I get the feeling you might be ashamed of me. Don't be angry. I hope I'm wrong, but you do say things that hurt my feelings. I care for you in so many ways and just had to express myself so you understand. I think about you and me together, so I hope you know this message comes from a place of love in my heart. Your tiny dancer, Audra. So he's seeing another woman. Wow, Dad had fans when he was playing in high school. Dear Charles Erickson, I am 12 and I want to play pro basketball one day. My parents tell me, take me to all your games. You are great on the court. The last game was the best I've ever seen. I hope you were drafted for an NBA team. Thank you and see you in the next game. Todd Hamill. That's scary. Is alcohol drinking your life away? Yeah, yeah, it is for, for Charles. You're not alone. We can help. O contact overcoming alcoholism discount rates available. So we moved because dad couldn't pay for the house? That sucks. Dear Mr. and Mrs. Erickson, our records show you have missed your third mortgage payment despite repeated extensions and assurances. While we understand and sympathize with every homeowner's situation, our office feels we have been more than fair in granting you multiple extensions. If you do not pay this mortgage by the due date. We will be forced to foreclose on the property. We hope to resolve this issue with you soon. Clamp properties. Dad got fired. That's when he started working for the railroad. School district, dear coach Erickson. So he was a coach. Although our fac faculty respects your legacy and dedication, you've been reprimanded more than twice for your aggressive behavior. With this recent incident involving beer cans in the pool after hours, we feel our only option is to terminate your contract immediately. We're sorry for the situation, but in the interest of safety, we know you understand that our students always come first. We've included a pamphlet with information and resources for alcohol-related issues and hope you find future success. So, he was like a coach at a school. and He used to play so... Of the we need to like close this how do i close it how do i close this how do i get out of this just back i guess i feel like we need to get the hell out of here can we take the key can we take the key why won't it let me put the key okay well dad's gonna find out we were like snooping so freaking fantastic oh lie down it's the same thing again just no music where he just what happens if we do this we thank ourselves yeah Apparently. Alright, we gotta go find the water eater. <sighs> There's a lot to this game. Like, holy smoke. A lot. Feel one. Dad loves his cancer stick. What are we gonna use it for? I, obviously, I won't let him smoke. What it like. don't, don't smoke it. But we do have a cigarette now. Okay. I don't know what we're going to use it for, but it said steal it and he's not smoking, so that's all I care about. If it has the option for me to let him smoke, I'm not going to do it. Oh, there's a fist mark. Because his dad I've has an anger seen problem. i dad get that mad. It really scares me. Uh, it's okay, sweet. Somebody protect this baby boy. Oh, man. She loved this song. What song? I haven't listened to it since... for a long time. We looked at this stuff. We looked at that stuff. Aluminum foil? Ooh, this could make a pretty good helmet. Ooh. Heck yeah. What do we need? We had a helmet. We had a cape and heavy armor. What are we gonna make? Heavy armor. Oh, he's got chocolate bars for... What a cutie. One more piece and I'm almost done. 
light switch. Dirty clothes. Add the washing machine. Now you will learn your lesson and stay clean. There's like barely any clothes in that basket. How are you gonna do laundry? There's barely any clothes in that basket. Wash. I hope I set this right. Yeah. Oh, the dark door. Oh God, I hate going in there. We're gonna do it. Is this where the water eater is at? This is intense. I, have I think I'm not alone. I have to walk. Oh my god. Creepy. You have the power, Captain Spirit. You have the power. Yeah, we'll fight. We'll, we're gonna. We got this. The water eater. I gotta get close enough to to tame it. This is intense. What the hell? We should have wa hot water again. Well, that wasn't too hard. Yeah, we did Let's it. Tame the water beast. Oh, there's stuff up there. Christmas decorations. Dad doesn't want to set up Christmas decorations yet. Makes him think them all. Isn't it like really close to Christmas, buddy? What else do we have to do? Uh, God, there's a lot to do. I feel like we'll just kind of come across stuff as we go. Let's yes, hell of a dog. Nope, turn it off. Hey, Dad. The water heater was down again, so I fixed it. I don't think he cares, sweetheart. We never use this door in winter because of the snow. Wait, wait, wait. They're like, saw oh, something. Oh, I do see something. What is that? There's a hidden message from Captain Spirit. That's kind of cool, actually. <laughs> I love glow in the dark stuff. I'm an adult and I still think those are really cool. We already read the newspaper. There's like eggs and like, oh, cause he made breakfast, but. Garage key? Cake. Fine. Stupid are you? How can you not score here? Dude. Down. This guy's got an anger problem. Oh, there was recycling. Um, can we? <sighs> I feel like if I call somebody, his dad's gonna get mad, but I feel like I should call somebody. Chris, these are the most important numbers for you on this list. Oh. Oh, yeah. I'm okay. wondering if... Cool story, Dad. ...the number for... Th there's dad's cell phone, the pizzeria, and I think the Reynolds are his grandparents. Hello? Hi, Mrs. Reynolds. This... Maybe not. ...is Chris. Chris Erickson. Well, of course I know who this is, Chris. What a nice surprise. Are you okay? Is everything all right? Yes. Well, everything's great. I just want to see. You would call them maybe Grandma and Grandpa, so it can't Steven be. Even to help me add more stuff to the treehouse, like when he helped Dad build it. I want to add some booby traps. That is so sweet. I'm so glad to see you playing outside like a real boy. Well, anyway, I'll be happy to let Steven know his services are required. He loves that treehouse. Me too. 
gotta keep the bad guys away. What bad guys? Thanks, Mrs. Reynolds. What do you mean? What bad guys? He's fighting crime. Be making any prank calls. Oh, he just was calling the... Hey, buddy. I'm assuming it's the neighbors. Bring me a beer. You drink a lot. Yep, okay, let's sure. feed dad's alcohol uh, for the old man. addiction. There's no more beer, dad. Just pour it all down the drain. Oh, there's the beer. Uh, no, we're not gonna drink the milk out of the carton. Ugh! Oh, I'm now that's my a nice hand. cold one. Cheers. I'm sure I messed up my looking, but whatever. Man, that was fast, Dad. Well, excuse me. Okay, I'll slow down, Chris. Yeah, maybe you should. Maybe you should stop this drinking empty can altogether. Is evil. Would You're Captain evil. Spirit take care of it? Really? Oh my yeah. god. Step aside, Mr. Erickson. Captain Spirit is here to recycle. Hey, <laughs> you better hurry. This can's gonna destroy the town. I hate mm. this. I hate how awkward this is. Man, that was too close. Thanks, Captain Spirit. I'm always here to lead my team to victory. I'm just having bad vibes all around you guys. Catalog the f we're like doing everything to take care of our father. He's the parent and we're doing everything to take care of our dad. Put a log on the stove. Start the water heater, you know, like make dad lunch. Get dad a beer. Like he's not a slave. He's your kid. I get Monica, it's okay Monica, to ask nice. your kid to do errands, but he's sitting on his ass not being a parent oh, at all. Hmm. I don't think Dad reads these. I think he just takes them from work. Dad loves his fat notebooks. Um, we can sit with our dad? I don't really want to. I kind of hate him. Yep, that's enough of that. I don't want to sit here with this asshole. We got shit to do. <laughs> that was not a foul. Uh, I'm trying to get close to the whiskey bottle, but I think I have to go behind him. Oh wait, hold on a minute. Burn! Never burn! Captain Spirit, you are a little evil there, kiddo. Dinosaur toy. Dinosaur land is open for business. Eat everybody. Depressing as hell. Marty Rex. This dinosaur won't need a grumpy old dad, right? Right. He should. Should eat his dad because you're a piece of shit. All right, brush teeth. That's one of the options. Use a faucet. I don't know if brush teeth's an option. Now the hot water should be warm. Ooh, water. Yes, I won. Yep. As soon as we wash those dishes earlier with cold water, I don't know if that matters. Uh, inter interview. Welcome to W-H-E-R-O! Today we are honored to have an interview with the world's most awesome superhero, Captain Spirit! Hello, Beaver Creek. Captain Spirit, when do you think you will defeat Mantroid? Mantroid is a bully and a coward. He can't hide, but he can run. We <laughs> heard reports that he is putting together a team of supervillains. Do you have any message for them? We'll forgive them. We will forgive them if they don't join Mantroid. He's not worth it. We have to live in peace. Or you will destroy them. That's my job. <laughs> and that's why we love you. Can you tell us who your superheroes are? My parents are... Well, 
My parents are my biggest heroes. This is depressing. Uh, I'm really happy to hear that. Ugh. Can you give us a hint about how you discovered your epic powers? No. <laughs> okay, do you have any <laughs> final words for your audience? Be nice and always fight for the good team. Thank you, Captain Spirit, for being our hero. Thank and you. now Thank back you, to Spirit. W H E R O News. Wero? How do you pronounce that? Alright, well, we did our interview. I don't know if that was part of what we had to do. We have to find the treasure. We have to assemble the map. Looks like Snowmancer wants to destroy the town. A lot of this stuff looks like stuff we have to do outside. It looks like we have to find superheroes. So we found the Viking and we found... I think we need to find other stuff maybe in the... Um... I mean, he did talk about his treehouse, but I'm thinking we... Wait, hold on a minute. The bedroom. I missed something in here. Slippers. A superhero should wear those. Why, they're cute. They're so comfy. Hell yeah. I just want to make sure we're not missing anything. Toys. Comic book, Steve. Bugs. Oh! Power Bear and Noct Noctar. Uh, Noctar. Noctarius? I don't know, man. <laughs> You can't win this battle, Noctarius! It's already over, Power Bear! Cool. Uh, cool. Don't let Mantroid control you! Nobody controls me! Mantroid is my leader! And he wants you to die! <laughs> Give up now! We don't have to fight! You're not the boss of me, Power Bear! Join our team. You have amazing powers. Why don't you join our team? Join Captain Spirit? Yeah. Are you serious? Yes. He's my enemy. Only because Mantroid brainwashed you. You can help the world with us. Liar. Where were you and Captain Spirit when Mantroid saved my life? Huh? Good got, guy? Got some really intense, uh, intense, intense backstory going on with these characters. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Noctarius. We want to be there for everybody. You're the enemy. Now take this! Are you serious? Oh, my back! How? About what, How Dylan? How did you do this? <laughs> I can't move! Captain Spirit! Captain Spirit! You please come to my aid! I can't defeat Noctarius on my own! You paralyzed him! Captain Spirit! Destroy him. Release him. Release him. Release him, Power Bear. Oh, yeah. Captain Spirit's got your back, loser. He decided to spare you. That's a real hero. Now go back to your master. Ooh. Me and Troy will get his revenge. For me! Thank you for keeping me from the dark side, Captain. Oh, just the kid. He's such a cutie. Okay, so we played with the... Wait, can we look at them? Captain nope. Spirit doesn't need weapons. I know, we went over this already. Uh, just in case. Oh, there's so much in this game. All right, uh, look. You're lucky Captain Spirit had mercy on you. Could have killed him. What would have happened if we killed Rim. I don't think the teddy bear is part of our thing, so wherever these other characters are, they're somewhere like they're not here. Oh, the shark, the shark stinger. Hi, Lash. Mm, I just came in shark to stinger is looking for play my game. Just came from Raven Stream. He says hi. Hi, Connie. How's it going? Look out. Here comes the Thank evil you for car. popping in. Ah! Oh. And uh, oh. hi to Raven. That pedestrian better get out of the way. I didn't know Raven was streaming right now. Do nothing. Intervene. That 
that was your last ride, Shark Stinger. Yes, Captain Spirit saved us. You'll never run over anybody again. Shark Stinger. Um, I am playing uh, Life is Strange. I do story games on Fridays. Um, this is like a part of the Life is Strange 2 game. Um, but I might be on tomorrow to play some Dead by Daylight. Um, I haven't really- Saturdays are like my wild card days, so it's kind of just whatever I'm feeling for, you know? So, but there's a really good chance I'm going to be playing tomorrow. Awesome! Okay! Yeah, I'll message you if I'm gonna, uh, play. If you don't hear from me, just feel free to, like, message me. I have, like, really bad memories sometimes, and, um, yeah, <laughs> if you want to just shoot me a message or, you know, if you're on and you just want to see where I'm at, I'd appreciate it. Ugh, I Thank hate you. that beer can I'd love smell. to play, though. And I know uh, Arcadian Mask is in here. He was talking about playing Survivor and stuff, so we could definitely get a team together to play. If you all want to play. Um, we go outside. Is this dad asleep? Uh, let's not wake him up. I don't really care about his his dad asleep I think is the best option I'm gonna play Dead by Daylight now but I just wanted to drop by to say hi okay yeah nope I I do but like I gotta finish up this before I could play anything else and um to be honest with you I think I'm just gonna play through this and then uh, get some rest tonight but yeah I'll be on uh tomorrow night we are playing Among Us like tomorrow night but during the day tomorrow I'm pretty much free he put a coat on right <laughs> Please tell me he put a coat on. Yes. Those are so cute. I like your emotes. Set up range. Nothing can escape the dead. Thank you, Connie. Here. Enjoy Dead by Daylight. Oh, I have? No, please don't make me. Yep. This is hard. And, oh my god, that's iffy. Yes. Oh, darn it, I missed one. I was pretty proud of that throw, too. Recycle that. I think we should maybe... Yeah, he did gather him up. I was like, oh, please don't... Please don't leave him everywhere. Your dad's gonna beat you. Clear this now? He's literally just doing chores. Like, this poor little boy is, like... He's pretending to, like, play and stuff, but he's just... Doing everything around here. Like, kids should help out. I'm not saying they shouldn't, but like, his dad's sitting on his ass. Like, this is shit. Shoveling the walk Extra isn't something some he should have to do. That's just my opinion. Like, your drunk ass father should be the one doing this. I'm really mad about this dad. Daddy sucks. Alright. So, we have like a big. That's the garage. We did get the garage key. Um, wasn't there the treehouse in the back, I think. Wait, can we deal with this one? Rebuild? Oh, Snowmancer. This oh. is sad. Snowmancer. You used to be a good enemy. Look at you now. How are you supposed Medic. to train me to fight Mandroid like that? What can we do? He's like a shovel sticking in. <laughs> An 
angry ass looking snowman. I'm gonna blow him up. We're gonna blow him up. <laughs> His eye falls off. Can we put the eye back. Now the snowmancer is ready for battle. Okay. Uh oh. I don't feel like we did that yet. So much around here. We look in the neighbor's yard. They have really nice look at they have like decorations in their backyard. Who does that? Which people. Yeah. Go up the ladder. We poor. This poor little boy and his drunk ass alcoholic father. I feel like there's gotta be something up here. Is there a bowl up there? A shitty ass tree, huh? Sky Pirate! Sky Pirate, what's the situation since your last report? Did the storm cause any damage? No, Captain. The magnetic field protected us from any harm. We're lucky to have you. Keep up your good work. I love Sky Pirate. Sky Pirate's amazing. Alright, so we talked to Sky Pirate. It looks like we have. So Captain Plant, or Captain Plant, <laughs> Captain Spirit has the T-Rex, Sky Pirate, the Viking guy, and Power Bear, and then the enemies are the Water Eater, the, the Man, like, Ma Mantroid, the Snowmancer, and then there's, like, that other guy, okay, and then there's... So I think we found all of them, it looks like, unless there's one at the bottom I'm missing there. We want to try to unlock Dad's phone. Uh, we got to try to get, like, heavy armor. There's treasure buried around here somewhere, and we have to defeat Mantroid and then the final mission. So, secret stash. <laughs> Open sesame. Secret decoder! Now I can use this to reveal the full map to my next adventure. Well, that's good. Because I have no idea what the hell that map was. Assuming we put that over that. These are my favorite baseball players. Aww. Even if I don't understand the stats. Cool letters. Harry did say mean things about Dad. But I can't let him see this. Dear Mr. Erickson, I wanted to let you know that your son Chris got into a small fight with my son Harry Sorber and his friends after school this week. Chris claimed that they were saying inappropriate things about you, but Harry is not that kind of child and only knows you through me. As you might know, Harry is an honor student and a decorated boy scout. Maybe you should talk to Chris about his behavior. If this bullying continues, I will be forced to speak to his school. Sincerely, Mr. Brett Sorber. They're gonna, like, fight. This is my worst report card. I'm doing better now. From 2015. Why would you keep it? Comic strips? I loved watching Mom draw her comics. Oh, his mom drew this. What are you cooking me, my sweet Valentine? Your favorite dish, pizza. Happy Valentine's Day, sweet. Oh. A doll? Dad keeps telling me this is a girl's doll. So what? She's the ice queen. Heck yeah. I like this kid. Dr. Red? That's Noctarius' son. He looks like his dad. Noctarius. Bitch. Light the cigarette. I feel like that's a bad idea. We're just gonna start smoking. You know, it, times are tough. Oh boy. 
Oh, he's pretending to smoke it. Slow, like Dad. No! No! I made him smoke! Oops. Oops. Stop. And that, now he'll never smoke again. Well, I don't know what I thought lighting the cigarette was going to be. I thought it would be, like, some part of the thing. I told, is he just smoking now? Or that's his cold breath? I was like, stop smoking! <laughs> no! Okay, then we can sit on the edge. Just because your kid is in Boy Scouts doesn't mean he's not a little shithead. Exactly. It sounds like your kid is a shithead. Storber or Sorber or whatever the hell your name is. This song is cute. I like it. I want to go in the garage. Also, we have the map now, so we don't have to go back in the house. Okay, I'm done. They just have you sit and stare. There's no, like, talking in this one, I've noticed. Do we all know how this will end? Oh, sweetheart. Okay. I don't know if we're gonna- I think maybe go in the garage first, and then we'll head back into the house, because we gotta do, like, the secret map or whatever. It looks like he, like, has been climbing over here or something. I think I need to explore a little better. Maybe there's a lot out here, and it kind of looks like a wide range of where we can go. Like, what's this over here? Looks like a bunch of junk to me. Creepy tree. Oh my god, the lake demon is rising. <laughs> Clouds imagination. Oh, can I? I was gonna see if I could attack it. He does his like where he reaches his hand out and does that like, you know, Captain Spirit. I want to call him Captain Planet so bad. You. Guys. Well, I guess we're going in here really quick. I'll kind of explore the front after this. Look, we turn a light on. It's dark. Huh? What made that noise? I was like an animal. Unlock? Seriously, there's another combi- oh my god. Okay. We need another combination. I have, to, I have to find two codes in this game. Ooh, I can even paint my costume once I make it. What do we- what do we- Out of- get out. This is where mom went to school before we came here. Dear Mrs. Emily Erickson, as principal of Blackwell Academy, that is the school from the very first Life is Strange, in case you guys didn't know. I wanted to personally reach out and thank you for your continued support of our art program to our prestigious school. We love displaying your work along with a long list of other alumni. We all have fond memories of you here, so thank you for thinking of us, and we hope you'll come visit the campus soon and see how your contribution keeps our dream alive. Principal Ray Wells, Blackwell Academy, Arcadia. Wow, okay. Interesting. I'm going to go to art school because of me. But she was already an amazing artist. Dear Emily, we received your letter of withdrawal and resignation and first wanted to congratulate you on your forthcoming child. While we are truly happy for you and your family, we are also selfishly sorry to lose one of our most promising students and artists. Your unique and witty illustrations have been well received on campus and in the school paper. We expect to see more of your work with us and others. Hopefully when you're ready, you'll consider coming back to Eugene State to finish your art degree and further inspire us. If you have questions, please contact us anytime. Best wishes, Professor G. Jennings. So she was going to like go to art school and um, she got pregnant oh wow i remember when mom drew that and dad couldn't stop laughing good night good night handsome step one step two so she's taking the blanket step three step four honey you got a cold again i told you to eat more fruits oh it's so funny i don't get this one <laughs> i'm too young <laughs> wah, wah. isn't it your turn mr officer what's up buddy Okay, yeah. Her art is so great. Mom and Dad always talked about how they met at school. Neighborhood Watch, The Jock and the Artist. So Emily Wyatt and Char Charles Erickson, and that's how they met. Never judge two books by their covers is the motto of this odd couple from Eugene. 
each of whom is making local waves in their respective fields and why we're showcasing them in this week's Neighborhood Watch. Emily Wyatt is a cartoonist whose witty work about her strange life has been featured in print and the web, even in the pages of this paper. She hates all sports by her own claims, yet is engaged to Charles Erickson, a local basketball star who some say is headed to the Oregon Ducks. Ironically, they met at the library and found true love among the book stacks while helping each other study for their torturous finals. I'm math and she's art, says a shy blushing Charles, clearly a man in love, which are actually the same thing from opposite sides, as Emily with a warm smile taking her new fiancé's hand. Yeah, I, I think her death really fucked up Charles. It was weird having my mom as my kindergarten teacher, but fun. We love you, Miss Erickson. So she became a kindergarten teacher instead of an artist. Chris, I love you, Mom. Oh. My first picture. It looks so tiny and weird. Maybe I'm an alien baby. Wholesome shit. Man. So sad. Oh, um. Hold on a minute. Are there any numbers Mom in here? Mom always talked about how they live at school. 2005. My first picture. It looks 2005. Like this is where Mom went to school before we came here. Mom didn't go to art school because of me. 2005. She was already an amazing artist. The year they met? I don't know. I don't, like, know. This is, like, a... works firecrackers i think that's how we blow up snowman sir now i'm ready to rock sorry dad hell yeah sorry dad grandparents letter grandma and grandpa were so nice i wish we saw them more Dear Charles, thank you for your lovely note and flowers for Kristen's birthday they always mean more coming from you we miss you and would love to see how Chris is growing. Like you, we also still miss Emily every day, every hour and minute. And we know that grief is part of your life, so always know that we think of you often. We're always here for you like you were there for us forever. Please stay in touch and let's make plans to meet soon. Your family and your family and always in our hearts and prayers. Your family is always in our hearts and prayers. That's a typo. You are family and always in our hearts and prayers. I was like, that's so confusing. There's another binder. <laughs> Local woman killed and hit and run. So his mom, that's how his mom died. Police are seeking witnesses to a fatal hit and run that occurred on December 16, 2014 at 715 p.m. Tuesday night on Mantle Street and Asteroid Drive. The victim identified as Emily Erickson, 28, of Beaver Creek. Oh, God, she's like a year older than me of Beaver Creek, Oregon, was apparently walking from her stranded car where she was stuck he struck head-on by an unidentified speeding vehicle. She is survived by a husband and son who are not on the scene at the time. Captain Anderson says that the toll cameras may have important clues. We're treating this as a case of vehicular homicide. Any with in anyone with information regarding the incident should call the anonymous Beaver Creek Police Hotline at 555-CAPTURE. I know Dad spent a lot of money on the funeral. Oh. This is so sad. In loving memory of Emily Erickson, Emily Erickson, 28, beloved wife, mother, and daughter, departed our world far too soon on December 16th, 2014, in Beaver Creek, Oregon. Emily was born in Eugene, Oregon, on January 25th, 1986, to Peter and Kristen Wyatt, a passionate art artist since kindergarten. She was near the top of her class at Eugene High School, winning various local art competitions and a prize scholarship to the prestigious Blackwell Academy in Arcadia Bay, Oregon. After graduation, she went back to Eugene and married her college sweetheart, Charles Erickson, on May 1st, 2006. Emily and Charles moved to Beaver Creek, Oregon in 2007, where she later began a rewarding career teaching kindergarten and inspiring young people in the arts. Emily and Charles were also blessed with a wonderful son, Chris, born on February 8, 2007. Emily's honest and humorous online comic strips about her family life brought her humble recognition. She is survived by her husband, Charles, their son, Chris, and her parents, Peter and Kristen. Funeral services are planned for 12 p.m., at, for 12 p.m. December 20th at Eugene Willow Hill Cemetery with this reception to follow. Family and friends are welcome to encourage and encouraged to pay their last respects. <sighs> yeah. I still don't know what the number is for the phone, but 
because I don't think it would be the Arca it's something to do with Arcadia Bay that doesn't make any sense. I think it has to do something with his dad, so we gotta find a code that has to do with his father, I think. I think we got what we need here, so let's turn the light switch off and we can leave. I don't leave lights on. I just don't want to, like, piss his dad off, you know? So his mom died, um, in a hit and run. It sucks we don't use this landing bay much. It's so cool. The landing bay? Oh, there's a hole. That's how that whatever got in there. Hmm. Looks like we had a visitor. Oh, kiddo. Oh, look it. Oh, that's so cool. I guess I didn't realize as I've been running around, there's like, it shows where I'm walking. Isn't that kind of neat? I'm sure it'll disappear over time, but... That's really cool, actually. Probably don't want to go on the road after finding out what happened. Man. There's something in the truck. Oh, weird cardboard. Oh, I could use this to make some cool armor. Okay. Then we'll go back in the garage and spray paint it. Okay. Yeah. Cool. My suit is almost ready. Yep, we gotta go back. After in. I get some paint. This is where the this something's gonna attack me. I don't want the raccoon to attack me. I don't want to see it. A squirrel? I'm assuming it's a raccoon. Sounds like uh, snails. Like, are raccoons in Portland, Oregon? Oh, the spray paint's here. I was gonna open the cabinet again. Sorry. Hell yeah. This is really intense. Music just ends. Ah, 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 ah. What a cutie. Yes, it's actually Captain Spirit to the rescue. Aww. And it's time to visit Mantroid's home planet for a change. Is it? I kind of want to go back in the house and I want to see if we can't find a code or like go through dad's stuff again and maybe try to find like a number to type into his phone. And then, um, I don't- it wanted me to play, like, a hot dog man game or something. It's not safe out there. Yeah, Dad. Oh, because his mom got hit by a car. <laughs> Santa. No way. carving. Hmm. Maybe the kids who lived here before didn't like it. Do you like it? I don't know what this is, but we can't. Oh. Junk pile enter. This is creepy. Thanks for love. Oh, right. I feel like I'm just repeating it. Go left? Go left? This is literally the same thing over and over again. Isn't it? That looks a little different.
He just- I just clicked a bunch of stuff, honestly. I forgive you, mother. I can hear you. And I love to be near you. But every road leads to an end. Oh no! I'm gonna cry! <laughs> Saturday's homework, who's the boss? You'll never see us again. He's crying. I don't understand why these game devs like wanna break my heart all the time. <laughs> like Such a like kid thing to like put it out in a tote. I miss mom's smile. <sighs> like put it out in a tote in like the yard, you know. So that was our treasure. Oh, we have to blow up the snowmancer, and then we got to do the phone. Okay, I think we that was the thing for the map. You can't play games like this. I'm gonna end. I know I'm gonna ugly cry at the end of this game. Like, Life is Strange 2. Wait, wait, wait. There's a graffiti. Jerks. Like, people don't drink in bars around here. Wait, what does it say? Wino? Wino. W-I-N-O. They, they put Wino, I think. I think that's what that is. I'm gonna blow them up. We got firecrackers now. Yep. Okay, I wanna try and play the hot dog now game. you are ready to battle with Captain Spirit. Hi, snowman, sir. Heck yeah. Yes! So cool. He's got cigarettes inside of him. Snowmancer almost froze the whole city. Uh oh. Until yeah. Captain Spirit melted him. For now. We got him. Alright, uh. I think that is Mantroid, so it's. It looks to me like. The only thing left to do is the phone and then to go to the main planet. Does he, like, give a hint if you look at it? Like, will he give a hint? I'm sure I can beat my high score on Mustard Party 2. I hate this. How am I supposed to figure this out? I, it's gotta be a word. Hack any system. Okay, I do remember this one because I remember. So cool. Here's my hot dog. I overthought this last time too. It's hot dog. H a w t d a w g, which is like, why would his dad have that as a password? So I spent a lot of time last time playing this too, trying to figure it out. So stupid. This is the game you play. And you have to survive to a certain point. Ah, you can't crash though. Need more points. Oh my god, I'm missing a lot of these. To beat 256? I'm gonna beat 256. I hate hot dog man. 
This is like some flappy bird bullshit, you guys. The longer you stay alive, the like better you do. It looks like I kind of just don't want to bother with the the lowest ones. You know what I mean? Like I have to get 256, right? Oh, ah! I suck. Suck! I suck too. I hate hot dog man. I hate this. I really hate this. I hate that I have to do this. This is even like this is part of the um you have to do it like in order to complete the game. Like I don't think the score was that high. I think I got the high score from when I played last. See? There's something about Okay, I need to watch my score. I beat it! New high score! Ah! <laughs> I was in hot dog, man. Hell! Get me the hell out of this! That was crazy. Okay. I would love to see hot dog man team up with Captain Spirit. Yeah, I, I kind of want hot dog man to die in a fire at this point, but you know, it's fine. So we did. My my costume is finally ready. Look out, supervillains. Here comes Captain Spirit. Yes, Captain Spirit has discovered the secret treasure. But well, we were, we were, I didn't think Snowmancer will be bothering the town again. Uh, score. Captain Spirit again stops the beer cans from taking over. Wow, now that's an epic super battle. I love you, hot dog man. Captain Spirit wins again. The water eater is back to work. So the last thing we have to do, now that we have our full costume, is to get on our spaceship. So... We wake up the dad. Wait, there was that whiskey bottle thing. There's something. Why does he drink that if it just makes him mad? Because your father is an alcoholic and he's got a massive problem. I think whatever I could have done earlier, I missed out on it. Oh. Dad, you sleeping? Hey, wake up. Dad, come on. Huh? What? Who's there? Who's that? Dad, it, it's just me, Chris. Whoa, whoa, hold on, buddy, okay? Jesus. Uh... Dad! Uh... Uh... Fuck! Dad, are you okay? Do I look okay? No, I tripped. Can't even watch one goddamn game. Well, it's not your son's fault. That's just great. Oh, I think I sprained my foot. Shit. You kind of deserve it. You hurt your kid, so... Chris, why did you wake me up? You promised that we you, would You go. told me to wake you up. I thought... I thought you said the pine tree. <sighs> pine tree? I can't even walk in my own house, man. You should be careful when you're... You know... When you wake up. Don't be a smart ass, Chris. I'm not in the mood right now. I hate this guy so much. Yeah, Dad. Okay. Jesus Christ, who is that? Go answer. If it's some salesperson or some church group, you just close the door on him. It's nobody's business. This is our castle, and it's our family. Right? Right. 
I mean, I feel like, no. Lady? Oh my, look at you. What kind of costume is that? I'm Captain Spirit. Of course you are. Aww. We need all the superheroes we can get. Holy a grandma. <laughs> and how are you doing, Chris? Good, Mrs. Reynolds. Just, just. Just? It's very, um, hokey. Cleaning the house. Just, you know, cleaning up the house and stuff. On a beautiful Saturday like this, it's snowy as hell. You should be playing instead. I even saw you clearing the snow out of the alley, so I hope you don't work all day. Well, it's laundry. That's day. what that is, is the alley. Dad's watching the game. Just the porch. So. That explains all the beer cans. Actually, I, I was going for a nice walk, but it sounded like the 4th of July over here. Is everything okay? Dad just fell. Oh, yeah. Dad just tripped and fell. But he's okay. Sounds like he tripped over a whole bunch of beer cans, right? <laughs> okay, Chris. He's on it. I think I've heard enough. I'm going to talk to Steven about this. And we'll be back to chat with your father. Wait. They're gonna no. kill him. And I support Please. that. They can kill Listen, him. Listen, I'm not trying to hurt you. Okay? We want to help. And just You're murder not him. in trouble. He hurt his kid. You I don't even care about You haven't done anything. Him. Just stay put. And we'll come by in a little bit. Kill his dad. His dad is sitting right there and just heard all of that. Now, they're gonna, he's, now he's gonna, like, murder me. So what did that nosy bitch want? N nothing. Oh, nothing, huh? I was listening. I heard it all. You could have gotten rid of her. I tried. Man, I bet you wanted to tell her what a shitty dad you have. Huh? No, she yeah. just wanted to say hi. I didn't say anything, Dad. I swear. Stop grabbing dad, his arm. Please believe me. Jesus, stop that whining. You're not a baby anymore. Oh, boo-hoo, Daddy. I hate this guy. Believe me. Grow up. But I... You're just... Just like your mom. Every time I look at you, I'm telling you, you talk. Stop it. I, just, just, I see your face. Why? And if it wasn't for you, she would have never taken the car that day. Never. This guy is just evil. Oh, hey, Chris, look, hey, I didn't mean that, buddy. Yes! Yes, you did! No, listen, Chris! Yeah, no, it's his fault his mom is dead. I didn't know if you guys knew that, but, you know. That's a hot- oh god. I know he blames the kid for her death. Yeah, I know he's a he's an evil son of a bitch. And I like I. Hey! Hey, it's Sean and Daniel, and that he just saved him from falling. Oh. <sighs> to be continued. 
I don't think I completed everything. I think I missed the fighting the guy in the end. I never, I never did this one. I already have Life is Strange too, but thank you. Can I like continue it? Like, can you, can I go back and can I, can I just do the battle or did I just like ruin the save? Where does this put me? Yeah, 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 yeah. We got, we, we have one more thing we got to do here. Does anyone know if the Animaniacs games can be emulated? I don't know what you're asking. <laughs> All right, I think we gotta do the final battle. I can't go anywhere without the keys. Where are the keys? What the heck? Interesting. I don't watch anime. It says it's to the left of the couch. So over here, oh, okay. That's just me. With the Warners. Welcome back, Dread. Alright, we're gonna watch this last scene and then, uh, we are going to not relive that horrific scene. Telling his son that his mom's dead because of him. That was horrible. Uh. Oh, the truck. Why am I headed to the garage? It's the truck. Power drive. Here I come, man, Troid. Come on, let's get going. Yeah. This is Captain Spirit. You copy. Are you there, Sky Pirate? Captain Spirit, I read you loud and clear. Are you sure you want to go on this dangerous mission? Don't worry about me. Man, Troid is the one in danger. Gotta do a quick system check first. Instrument panel, check. Force field, check. Proton missiles, check. Skate pod, check. Windshield wipers, check. Everything looks good. Start the launch. We're going faster than light speed. What's that ahead? Hey, Dread. Oh no! Meteor showers! Turn on the force field! Too late! Emergency! SOS! Crash landing! Ah! Uh oh. I wonder how many ships Mantroid has crashed on this planet. Never mind. I landed safe. Time to explore! I was thirsty, I was waiting for that, Dread. The planet is so dark, and the sky is so red, like blood. Creepo. No wonder Mantroid lives here. Mantroid. How could anyone live here? It's kind of sad and lonely. It's intense. Very high graphics. What's that sound? Something is coming. Or somebody. This just turns into a horror movie immediately. <laughs> Man, Troy, show yourself, you coward! Oh no, it's the. St it's the streets where his mom got hit and killed. Isn't it? No, he's playing pretend, but I think this, this is the street corner his mother got murdered, like by a hit and run. Fight 
with me instead of hiding. His dad did offer pills. <laughs> he might be on drugs. We don't know. That's where his mom died, isn't it? You can't win this. You're chasing ghosts. He's in the street. Oh. Yep, asteroid and mantle. Asteroid, that's where his mom got hit and killed. Was it right outside their house? Was she like. He said that her car broke down and she was walking back. That can't be right outside their house, you is will it? You pay for what you did, man, Troy. I swear. Ooh, actually, that feels really good right now. Is that... Is it here? Is there a street... There's not a street thing here, is it? I don't think so. Android killed his mom. He created a villain because his mom got killed.